Hello guys, it is I, sat at my desk as usual, with a mental kitten in the background, as usual. Um, I am talking in depth about this um, book box that I've been working on with Repose that I mentioned in the last vlog. Um, I'm going to talk about the things that are in it and just give you all the information that you need. It is officially ready to order, so I will link the it in the description box for you. I've also done a big blog post about it, so I will link that too. Um, they've got an amazing landing page on their website about it, which with all the information in, but I'm also going to try and give you it here too. So the book is retail the box, sorry, is retailing at £52, but it's £40 at the moment as sort of a launch price. And within that, you get the notebook that I showed you. I've actually been um, shooting it, and so most of it's upstairs, so let's go upstairs. Um, actually, it's strewn around the house because I've been shooting all over. The light's beautiful today, as you'll have just been able to see me walking upstairs. So, in it, you get the notebook that I showed you last time, which is just here still, which is I'm so, so pleased with. You don't get a kitten. You get a leather bookmark, also designed by me, and it says right where you left off on the top, and it's just got a really classic frayed, that's not frayed, tassels, um, tasseled bottom. It's so lovely. I actually never use bookmarks because I don't have one and have perfected just remembering where I'm at, but so often I'll like read a page and I'm like, no, you've read that page. And I'm someone who cannot bear folding down a page in a book. I hate that. Or leaving it open on its spine. Anything like that. So I think a bookmark can be very handy for me. Some chocolate, which, oh my God, is ridiculously good. I, they sent me two, two bars as a sample and one of them has been eaten. Um, again, I designed this packaging. We went really, really, really simple. As you can see, it is milk, salted, caramel, chocolate, which is the best chocolate you can get. Um, anyway, we went for something really, really simple with the packaging, which I love. So you get that. Let's go back downstairs to the rest of what's what's in the box. Like I said, it's all over the house because I've been shooting. Um, we've put some tea in, which I've actually just been drinking. It's from a brand called Joe's Tea, and it's lemon and ginger flavoured. Um, I've got tea and a coffee on the go. It's absolutely liquid mania. I spent ages deciding what flavour tea to put in because I love like a cup of tea, like English breakfast tea. I actually don't often drink herbal teas. And then, I, so I initially thought, right, we'll put an English breakfast tea in. But then I thought, with that, everyone has their favourite tea. Mine is MS Gold, that you don't really ever divert from. So we decided, no, let's not go English breakfast because everyone will have theirs and be very loyal to their favourite. So you went the lemon and ginger. Um, note cards. So this I think you guys are gonna like. We did some note cards, um, three different ones with my photos on. So you get these three. This is a photo of Mount Fuji. Obviously I took in Japan. It's got a little note on the back, which I won't read out loud because otherwise there's no point in buying the damn thing. You've seen it all. Another photo here that I took when I was in Whitby at the beginning of this year. And then we've also made a playlist um, with just information of how to find it. It's on Spotify, but we've also listed the songs there so that if you don't use Spotify, you could just recreate it. And it's all music that I like to read to. So super, super, super chill. And this is another photo that I took in Japan in Kyoto. So we've got those three bits. And then also we put in a beauty product. I think you also need to talk about the book that we've put in. Put in a like whole idea. I know I said in the initial video that it's a Christmas thing, but obviously it's so late for Christmas now. If you want this for Christmas, I put all this information in the description box, but you need to order by Monday the 21st by 10 a.m. for Christmas delivery, for guaranteed Christmas delivery. That's your cutoff point. So that's if you want to get this for someone for a gift for Christmas, obviously. But if you're buying for yourself, it's going to be available beyond Christmas, so don't worry, that's not a deadline to get it. And obviously, I know I'd said this in, in the last video again, but as I'm not the most festive person, we didn't want to make it really Christmassy. The only nod to Christmas is the fact that book's green, the notebook's green. Um, so I think it'd be really nice just buying the new year anyway, for yourself or for somebody else or for whoever, and just have a relaxing evening. 
little candle we've got in it. This is from a brand called Leha. You might remember this. I bought some of their um, body cream back in the summer. They are a brand based in East London, which I really liked. Um, and this is their African Moss candle. It's quite like, it doesn't smell like any other candle, which is why I really liked it. So I'm really bad at describing scents, but it's not sweet, but it's not really smoky. It kind of sits between. So I think it would be one, if you're buying for a gift especially, that is kind of a bit of a safe bet, but while still being a really interesting smell. And it's quite fresh. And it's just lovely. And that was the worst description ever. So you're just gonna have to get the box to find out what it smells like. And the book. The book was a big decision. Now, when you order on their website, you have the chance, the option to add a second book. And there's loads and loads and loads and loads and loads to choose from. Absolutely loads. So that might be worthwhile, especially if you're getting it as a gift. And it tells you the price of each book. So you'll know how much more you end up spending. There is also the option to add in some beauty products. Um, we struggle quite a bit finding the right beauty product to put in because of how you guys know how sensitive my skin is. So I barely use very many brands. So it was really difficult to for me to put in one in every single box that I was really happy to endorse when I, there's so much that I literally can't use. That's obviously not the same for everyone. Not everyone's got such sensitive skin. So we you have the option there to Again, drop, there's like a drop down bit where you can pick a second book and a drop down bit where you can add a beauty product. And there's loads that Repose offer, loads of brands that you'll recognize on there as well. Um, so you can do that. If, again, it will cost a bit more, but if you wanted to add more into it. And the book, I actually, I'm just about to try find my copy. The book is, that we went with, is Zadie Smith's Intimations. Now, I think my proudest work of this year, um, here we go, here it is, was the video that I did where I got mum to do a voiceover to this. Um, and it was reading out the specific essay, it's too bright here, the specific essay called Suffering Like Mel Gibson. This book has six essays, as it says on the cover, um, and it's about 2020, and no other book that I read this year hit me as hard as this, especially that essay, which I got mum to read out in that video. It, the way it sums up the balance of this year and how we have suffered so much personally while dealing with a certain sense that your suffering isn't enough compared to what's collectively going on, the constant sense that you could have it a lot worse and how to place yourself within that. This honestly absolutely blew me away. If you haven't read it yourself, you must, and you must get it in my book box. Um, but also, it's a great one to gift people. Um, it's not heavy, it sounds like quite a heavy topic, but it's not heavy read. They're really easy to read. She writes really, really beautifully. It looks great as well, obviously. Um, so this was kind of a no-brainer of the one that I wanted to put in because no book has resonated with me as much as that one for um, 2020, but Yes, so the box will come, um, I actually don't have a sample of the box here right now, but it will come, it's going to be a black box, we'll have lots of lovely cream tissue paper in, and all of those lovely bits in, and it's obviously all things that I've spent a lot of time working on and trying to design in a way that's really simple, not really heavily branded with me, <laughs> and just aesthetically really lovely, and Obviously, the way that the timings have worked out, I'm really glad that it's not overly festive because you guys can absolutely order them to have in the new year for yourself, for somebody else, but just to have a lovely night in, basically, and chill with your Zadie Smith book, make your notes in your notebook, all of that stuff. So, um, yeah, like I said, everything will be linked in the description box. Some of this information will be reiterated in the description box. And big thank you all for all of your support through this already. I've already had so many amazing messages about it and I'm so excited. So, um, yes. Hello guys. I don't know why I look like I've got a, a comb over. It's a uh, Monday night. I'm just having a poke bowl that I ordered on Uber Eats and I just started to start vlogging. Weege is testing me today. Today he's been sent to test me. He has I don't know where he's got his energy from today. It hasn't run out. We're used to power hours, power hours, but I've got down to a T. He plays fetch, which I'm really hoping to get on camera for you guys in this vlog. 
plays fetch, we run around, we get told off trying to climb the tree, we have a great time. And then we sleep for a long time and I get stuff done. Today, there has been no rest and he's still going strong, which, please contain yourself in some way. I don't know what's happened to him. Um, other than that, I'm having a, a very productive day, despite that, I should say, I'm having a very productive day. So much so that I've rewarded myself to a glass of wine on a Monday, but it is Christmas, so. Mm. I um, have some mince pie updates for you in this vlog. Is it Monday or is it Tuesday? No, it's Monday. Um, mince pie updates for you. Um, I'm also going to try and get some more mince pies tomorrow, so I have an excuse to eat more. Um, currently, top of the charts is Sainsbury's from the bakery section. In second place, I think I'm going to put Tesco's finest. In third place, the Epicure ones, which I got from the grocery, which is the posh shop. Um, those have been very, very, very good. To try, Morrison's. Mum's coming down for Christmas and I must tell her to get some from Morrison's because there isn't a Morrison's around here. I've asked my personal trainer to get me some from Aldi because he's got an Aldi near him, which is very healthy from a personal trainer to be doing some the supply of mince pies inside. Um, so I'm going to have some more to test soon because I'm lacking in major supermarkets around here. Um, there is a big Asda. There's some Waitrose. I must go to Mars and Spencer's. Maybe I'll go to Mars and Spencer's on Wednesday. Anyway, that's where I'm up to mince pies. Weech, can you hear him? He's got that scrunchy toy and he's all, all over the place. I've moved the living room around with the sofa and the chairs. It's a mess at the moment, uh, so I'm not going to show you now, but I will tidy it before bed and then show you in the morning when it's light as well. Um, but it's nice, it's really cosy. It makes the room feel really, 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 really different, uh, which is quite nice by just switching some furniture around. Um, and it's made me love the sofa more, actually. This sofa is, um, weesh, is unbelievably comfortable, um, but looked really tatty really soon after I got it. I'm not the cleanest person, but still, I'm not that bad. Um, but in the middle, it kind of works with it looking a bit scruffy and it just makes the whole room look super cosy. So I'm really enjoying it. Um, so I'm going to show you that tomorrow too. This is like a contents page of what's happening in this vlog, which wasn't my intention. I just came over feeling all chatty, so I thought I would come and talk to you guys, basically. Um, honestly, he's been using me like a springboard today. He keeps running up my leg, up my jeans and then getting to like waist and just going poof and like launching himself off me. Um, and that's a new thing, just as of today. I hoped it begins and ends with today. Where are you, Weege? Everyone will want to see you, even though you're an absolute rascal. But he really is an absolute joy. He, um, oh God, my eye infection went. Literally the day after it went, I got the biggest cold sore on the top of my lip. It was two next to each other, it was huge. That's gone, so we're fighting fit again now and not looking like I've done a few rounds with Mike Tyson and just got a swollen face. So I was thinking, I have now, Weege sleeps like here with me. Sometimes he sleeps at the bottom of the bed, but at some point he'll always come find me in the night. And he's so good, he sleeps all the way through. Whenever we go to bed and he wakes up at 7.30, almost on the dot every single day. But if I don't wanna get up then, he'll wait with me he'll just start moving and staring at me a lot at about 7.30, which seems to subconsciously wake you up somehow. Um, and he, yeah, so he sleeps here a lot. And so I keep waking up at points of the night when I'm like really nestling my head into him. And then I'm wondering why I've got all these infections in my face. Maybe because you're sleeping on a cat, but then they are quite clean. So it could equally just be being run down due to the end of the year and all of that stress. Mm. Oh yeah. The only other thing I wanted to say is that I'm really struggling to read at the moment. A. Assassin's Creed is the biggest culprit for me not reading. Because that's what I'm doing in an evening now. In fact, it's quarter past seven, which is a high time to start Assassin's Creed. That's my first reason. My second reason is that I used to read a lot in the bath. I love having a bath. I have one most days. Um, well... Weege has other plans for that because he spends the entire time walking the perimeter of the bath. Now he can jump up. So he just walks round and round and round and I spend the entire time going, oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, and just watching him. He fell in the bath yesterday because 
I just spent the whole bath doing that. Tried to keep picking up my book and then he would like slide or slip. I was like, oh God, I can't, I just have to sit and watch him. Got out of the bath, was letting the bath drain, just washing my face at the sink. And obviously he chose that moment when I wasn't sat in the bath to fall in. Along the like sloped back, I just heard all this scrambling. And I managed to get to him and just pull him out before he all went in. So he was only his bottom half, but he was not a happy camper, obviously. So I'm hoping he's learned his lesson from that, but realistically he won't have done. I'm sure it's going to happen again at some point. So that's my second reason. I can't read in the bath anymore. Uh, and that's actually the only two reasons that I've got because my reading time were evenings and bath time. Um, and really the one I can control the most is Assassin's Creed, but I'm just enjoying it too much to stop. Hello, you've come here to put your face in my food like you always do. You've just had dinner. You, you're eating something. I don't know what that was. You've just had dinner, you've had treats, you've had it all, but still you want more food. Mm. I'm telling everyone how naughty you are. You don't like wine. Mm. You're not going to show me face, being moody. You've been in quite a bit of trouble today, actually, haven't you? All day, on and off, for various things. Generally just being a bit of a handful, aren't you? Are you going to relax for the evening now? I oh, like that. Did you just lick my wine glass? Why? Why does Ouija lick the wine glass? Hmm? He's grown so much, guys. Haven't you? You've grown lots and lots. I have to go take him to vets in the new year to see about when he's going to be. Um, have the snip, sorry. <laughs> that made him jump. Um, he's going to have the snip. But he's on the waiting list and he hasn't been called forward yet. And he um, probably isn't heavy enough yet either. So he's gonna have that done. And then we can consider life outside, but he spends a lot of time sat by the back door. Frank sometimes comes to the back door as well. Staring out the window, he's staring out the window now actually, but doesn't make any attempts to get out. So I'm hoping for quite some time he won't be that interested in the outside world, which would be really good because until he is, there's absolutely no sense in going out there at all. Don't knock that. Of all the places. You were resting on a bottle of soy sauce, by the way, guys. And he has decided to come sit there. Why there? Hey? Oh, you are so gorgeous. I love your paws. They're so nice. Good boy. You going to relax now? Shall we play on the Assassin's Creed game and relax for the evening together? Eh? Where'd you go? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to turn you here inside out. Sorry. You're really rude of me. Oh, that's nice. How about we go sit on the sofa and chill? Eh? You interested in that?
tired because I am, even though I slept well. I'm up at Atom this morning to go to the post office. Deep joy. Um, but before I go, I wanted to show you a very big splurge I've made recently, which is on my body right now, which is an acne shearling leather jacket. I've got odd shoes on at the moment because I haven't quite decided which one to go for. Also, side note, this little man is in all of my Instagram photos at the moment, and I swear it has not been a deliberate aesthetic decision. It is just because wherever I am, whatever room I'm in, he is just right there behind me, which is a joy. So I keep taking mirror selfies and he's just in more because he just sits like this and watches me. Anyway, the leather jacket. Obviously a big splurge, they're very, very, very expensive. Years ago, I always used to want the, they're called the Velocity ones, the really classic longer ones. Um, when I was like, do you remember the days when blogs were like fashion toast, roomy neely? She always used to wear them. I can't think what year this would have been. I reckon I was doing my A-levels, so it would have been about 17 or 18. So 10 years ago, I always used to want them so badly, but obviously it was way out of my league. Um, but then I saw this one come up online and I've been on the hunt for a really good, really, really, really warm jacket. I feel like I've got my nice wool ones. I've got a few really nice wool coats that I love to wear. Two really good trench coats, a black and a beige one. Um, some puffer coats as well, but was missing something. You know, I was saying, I was, oh God, I'm zooming in. I'm so sorry about that. Didn't mean to. Um, I was saying about the puffer jackets. They're so warm, but I still struggle to style them sometimes. So I was after something that was potentially even warmer, but easier to style for me. And this hit all the boxes, which is why I decided to spend um, a large sum of money on it, basically. I've got it in a size 30 six here um it is dark brown with beige shearling they do it in all black with black shearling as well if that would be more your vibe but i kind of wanted to look like del boy um and it's just massive and it's so warm and so beautiful and i figured this is definitely the kind of piece that you just buy once and have forever and ever and ever even if there's certain winters where you don't love it as much they like i was saying the velocity jacket was 10 years ago that i wanted that so it's the kind of thing that i know i will come back to year after year even if it means some years you don't come back to it there's just sort of thing you always have in your wardrobe um so i'm really 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 chuffed with it and i've been wearing it every day since i got it because it's bloody freezing at the moment and the other thing i like about it i've said this before but this is quite specific for my job but like my af Aga coat which i'm loving and the philippa k one the, any long coat my totem one too when i'm just taking photos for instagram when you wear the same coat a lot which in real life i wear the same coats nearly every day but when you're taking photos of them all of your outfits look the same really quickly because you all you can really see is coat and shoes um and it's such a specific problem in terms of only that you would have if you're trying to take a photo of your outfit every day and it's like really i really want to find the balance of making sure you guys see i'm re-wearing things a lot but it's also still got to be interesting and it's not like wearing the same jumper over and over again. When it's a coat, the whole outfit's lost to it. So I've wanted something warm and shorter so that in terms of taking photos, it would at least feel a bit different in that different jeans. Today I've got, oh, why do I keep zooming in? No, I've got on my um, Ami trousers. I can't decide between Converse or Muji trainers. Um, Arquette um, cashmere jumper, the black one that I've got. I think this is a under the stories t-shirt underneath um and i'm just trying to decide on the shoe why is this so difficult for me i'm thinking the converse looks a little bit more like it makes sense the white feels a bit contrasty what do you think weej do you want to pick for me touch the shoe that you want he's never going to do this weej this one or this one great choice great choice I was thinking the Converse too. You are just, you have such good taste, sweetie. Such good taste. Okay, let's put the Converse on and then we're off to the post office. You're going to just stay here for 15 minutes on your own and you'll be okay. I think I've definitely got a little kitty cat with a bit of separation anxiety because of how much time we spend together. You don't even like it if I'm not in the room with you, which is why you're like a little shadow. Oh, a lovely purring though. Is this your toy? Get it, Weege. Anyway, 
Let me know what you think of the jacket. Oh, I look like I'm going to drive through it backwards. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm back. I spilled coffee all down myself and down my phone, so it wasn't an entirely successful trip. But I do have lots of parcels. I thought I'd open them because I don't know what some of them are. I just got my coffee from Ozone, which is an amazing coffee shop and restaurant. There's one in Shoreditch and there's one in Bethnal Green on Emma Street, which is just off Hackney Road. Um, amazing coffee and amazing food. And I also got from them a mince pie because they had some mince pies. Um, and I thought we could test that out today. Someone's here to help. Biggest help in all the land. Okay, let's start with something that I really don't know what they are. No, don't know what this is. Do you know what this is? So mum rang yesterday to say that she is, oh, something from Hourglass. Let's have a look. You guys know I like Hourglass. Um, she rang me to say that somebody, you can't listen to this, has got a whole stocking for Christmas. Mum and I aren't really doing Christmas presents this year, we're just doing them for him. And he's got a whole stocking of gifts. And yesterday I ordered him a heated blanket to go in his teepee, which my friend Laura got for him. So it was my birthday present, but for him, which is perfect. So I thought he likes it by the radiators. So I got him a heated blanket to go in his little teepee. Mm, you're going to have a lovely Christmas day, aren't you? You're so spoiled. Yes, very helpful. Right, we do. let's see what we've got here. We've got, ooh, a refillable lipstick duo, which looks like a weapon. I like that, feels like some sort of female James Bond equivalent secret weapon. And then another ambient lighting palette. I actually use this a lot. I'm now kind of not, I don't get sent very much makeup, which I'm grateful for because I'm allergic to so much. Um, but Hourglass is always one I'm really glad to receive. This is their Christmas one. I won't lie, it looks very much like all the other ones too. <laughs> I'm sure there's subtle differences which are going entirely over my head. But if I'm honest, I just go whoosh over them all and just shove it on my face and really like it. And this is very niche, but they have amazing mirrors to the Hourglass palette. So thank you Hourglass for that. I do use all of their stuff, so I'm really chuffed with that. This is going to be a book. My Auntie Anne, for my birthday present, got me a um, book subscription thing. Not like the job that I'm doing, which I've got to talk to you about, but just where you just get a book every month, um, which is a very nice present indeed. And this is my second one. It's called the Willoughby Book Club, by the way. And this month's book is, oh, it's a nice cover, Stubborn Activist. No, Archivist. I really should have to read that. Stubborn Archivist by Yara Rodriguez Fowler. Ooh, this looks interesting. The Stubborn Archivist tells her story through history, through family conversations, through the eyes of her mother, her grandmother and her aunt. And slowly she begins to emerge into the world. Here is a story of growing up between cultures of finding your space within them and of learning to live in a traumatised body. Is it a fiction or no, oh no, there's a bookmark or non-fiction? Oh, I'm excited to read that. How lovely is that cover as well? So I've got that. Thank you, Auntie Anne, for my birthday present there. And then, what else have we got here? This, I don't know what to start with because I think I know what these two are. Let me double check before I start talking about what this is, which is covered in coffee because I just got the coffee, like I said. Um, I'm going to do this with a key so I don't have to get up and get the scissors. Yes. Oh yes. We'd wait from there. He just wants to knock stuff over all the time, you naughty boy. into the box. This is a gift from ASOP, I believe. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm 
hedging my bets a bit, but it smells like it. So it's come in this lovely kind of, what does that feel like? Cardboard and papery bag. I picked these bits out. They sent like a, um, I don't know if it's interesting when I tell you guys how you, how you end up getting stuff, but with this one, they sent a list of things and they said, would you like to pick two things for Christmas? And I don't get on with those sort of skincare. Like I said, I've got sensitive skin and their stuff is really fragrant. So it's just a nightmare for me. But I love their like body wash. Anything that doesn't go on my face, I'm fine with. So it's still is the holidays are almost upon us and we hope these essentials inspire me for self-care indulgence during the festive season. Wishing you a wonderful holiday and warm regards. Side note, but whoever wrote this has absolutely gorgeous handwriting. So Ouija, in here we've got a rose hair and scalp moisturising mask. Do you think that is nice? I don't think you'll get on with that. Um, their packaging is obviously beautiful. Hand cream. There is not enough hand cream in the world. I have this weird fantasy that I think about all the time of putting my hands in a bowl full of hand cream and sitting there all day and watching it throughout the day just absorbing. That's how dry my hands feel. So this is the Reverence Aromatic Hand Balm. Um, a lip balm, protective lip balm with SPF 30. You can't have enough of that. And then I can't work out what this is. It's just like, oh, it smells. Oh, it's like a, is it like a scented disc? I don't know, it's like a ceramic, but it smells really strong. Maybe that's just gonna make the whole room smell. I'll put it in the bathroom. I'm definitely gonna keep this lit up. Well, I'll get rid of the packaging, obviously, but keep this little bag, because it's very nice. So guys, this is how the living room's looking. Excuse the tote bag on there, let's move that. So, although it does blend in, so it's not that obvious. Um, catnip banana there, cat toys everywhere. So, it is, Chairs here, Ouija's teepees here, which will go here when the tree's not there. And there's also a plug there, so when his, heat, his heated blanket comes, he can, I can plug it in there. So that will all happen, which is perfect. And his play area will also go back there. It's very lovely to look at. <laughs> so we've got two chairs here. These chairs looked best, I'm sure you'll agree, in my previous two flats, where they're against a beautiful bay window. Um, I really love that radiator actually. I love the shutters. But where I am here is directly onto a road so you can like see a red car out there and stuff. So I prefer how they look actually against a window like this, but the ideal is how they were in my previous two flats. I still absolutely adore them though, of course. Coffee table where it is. TV, a lot of this motivation was around watching the telly and playing on my game, my Assassin's Creed. Cause I was just sat sideways on the sofa and it wasn't very comfortable. Whereas now I either sit these, which I find comfortable personally, or on the sofa, which is here. Um, and it's kind of split the room up into two different areas in a really nice way. So it feels like what my living area here, what is essentially the office more often than a dining room. Um, if, ever, if any, oh God, I can't speak. Like when mum's here and stuff, it'll obviously just be the two of us. So we only, weed, can we not? I've literally just tidied up everywhere because you are knocking all the needles from this tree. Ouija, you are so troublesome at the moment. Just for a minute, be relaxed, please. You like the sofa here, don't you? Because he likes to sit here and he's close to me while I'm working, but has a good view of all the room. Um, so yeah, I'm really liking it. I also, I'm hopefully going to get an iMac just for work stuff going into the new year, which would make that space even more office-y. Um, which on my own is fine, because like I said, it's just for me eating at the table. But I'm thinking maybe that will lend itself quite well to the room feeling separate. So we'll see. I actually might move the foot so forward a tiny bit. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. I'm personally really liking it. It's also really nice to curl up and read, which I'm not doing at the moment there with that lamp on um, in an evening. So quite chuffed. I moved this mirror again, back to here. I moved upstairs today to take some photos. And then I've put it back here. We've just been climbing on this and there's not this book. Um, for the main reason, if I'm totally honest, is because I like it for a mirror selfie here for Instagram more than I did in that corner. And when I'm sat at my desk, I get quite a nice view of the tree, which is just very lovely. But, Alas, 
That is not what I'm here to talk to you about. I'm here to conclude this vlog with a mince pie. Let's rest you on a thing of olive oil. No, let's not. Let's rest you on this. Uh, oh, that won't work either. Uh, oh, I did buy that tripod, didn't I? Which I appear to not use. Here, kitchen roll. Let's see how that goes. Lovely. Right, today's mince pie. I got a couple of days ago, actually, so it's gone a bit soggy, but I did have one yesterday from the, from Ozone, which is one of my favourite restaurants in London. There's two in Shoreditch, one very close to where I live. They're exceptional. This is like a crumbly kind of top. It's got oats in the top. And like I said, I have already had one, so I already know how mm, incredible it is. The filling, exceptional. Quite cinnamony. Mm, if I'm being really honest, it kind of can't compare with the other ones because the top's so different. Because it's oaty and very much like a crumble. So it's almost in a league of its own, but 10 out of 10. It's so good. Vogue, very good. We only have one left, but I'm going to try to stock up on these before Mum gets here so she can try one too. Because it's exceptional. Um, this is a mince pie plate. Where all the mince pies go when I get some new ones. Um, what? Um, I remember Mum about bringing some Morrison's ones down. So she's also bringing some from Booth's, which is like a posh northern supermarket. It's like northern Waitrose. Mmm. That's food. I reckon it's posh and Waitrose. And must reminisce as well. I'm going to have to eat a lot of mince pies in the next week. It's hard life. But that one is so, so, so good. So good. And this concludes the vlog. Sorry. <laughs> this concludes our vlog today. Me and Luis are going to say goodbye. It's been good boy. And you're having a bit of rest on the sofa, aren't you? Mm, you baby. Mm. I mean, good boy. Can you say goodbye to everybody? How are you? Nice kisses. Say, say goodbye to everyone. Why are you purring? Hmm? He's been a good boy today. Been more chilled again, haven't you, Ouija? Power hour than sleepy time in between. Which is what we like. Goodbye from me and Ouija. We love you all. They all love you, Ouija. <laughs> yes, you. And I'm talking about you. Why are you purring? Why are you stuck like this? Why don't you just lie down? You're propping yourself up. I think the reason you sat like that because I walked into the kitchen so you would have been like, mm, what's she doing? Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I'll do one more before Christmas. So I'll say Merry Christmas to you in the next one. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching.